I think it's time to find out just how efficient different things are at refining cores and stone and stuff. So let's start by first of all pasting all of the ores into space in some amount and then getting them in our inventory. Uh, Shift F10, there we go, Cobalt, etc. And then we will add a little bit of them in each refinery. So survival kit we will just test stone. Then for the basic refinery we will test it, what it can refine. And for the advanced refinery, well, we will also test it with and without the efficiency modules. Alright, so I think that's every raw resource except ice. So yeah, stone, iron, silicon, nickel, cobalt, silver, gold, magnesium, uranium, platinum and scrap metal. Right, uh, well, let's start by... Blah, blah, blah. Where is it? Survival kit. Let's test the survival kit first. Let's set the battery. Right, so... First of all, let's put a hundred of which resource that we can. I think it's only stone that we can put here, right? Stone. And, right, we need to put ingots to production. And... Right, so 1.4 gravel out of 100 stone, 3 ingots, iron ingots, 0.24 nickel ingots, and 0.4 silicon wafers. Okay, and I don't think you can put anything else in here, right? Yeah, so only stone for this one. Right, now let's go with the basic refinery. Boop. Uh, where is the basic refinery? There it is. Basic refinery. I think you can put more stuff here, so first let's try out stone and see how that goes. Huh. Wait. Curious. Basic refinery has less efficiency of this stone than the survival kit? What? <laughs> okay, that is strange. Right, and now let's try out scrap in here. 100 scrap. And... There we go, 56 iron ingots out of 100 scrap. Okay. Right, let's try out other stuff now. Add iron, add silicon, add nickel, add cobalt. Can you process silver? Add silver. Nope, you can't process silver. Okay. Gold? Nope. Magnesium? Ha, huh, it can process magnesium. Uranium? Nope. Platinum? Nope. Okay, well, while it's processing, let's move on to other refinery. The large one, the chunker. The big old barrel. Right, how should we put them so they don't connect? <laughs> now we can do this. Right, so we'll test out stone here. Scrap here and other stuff here. Let's see. Right, 100 stone going in. And here, 100 scrap coin in. And here, 100 of everything else coin in. This refinery can process everything, if I'm not mistaken. I've got to say, the rarer the resource, the slower the processing speed, it seems like. Which does kind of make sense. It's still processing nickel and stuff in here. I should probably switch to 10 times refinery speed. Or I can just wait it out. But it seems like it has the same r refining rate for silicon and iron. The basic refinery, at least. Right, so... Advanced refinery seems to have the same efficiency for the stone as a survival kit, which is interesting. Okay, iron ingots, while the basic output 56, this one output 80, nice. Right. And while well, the basic refinery outputs 0, 40, 49 ingots out of 100, the advanced output 70. Same for silicon, 40 for nickel, okay. What about you? It's still refining nickel. <laughs> but it seems like if this does 0 0.7, then this one 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 which will be 0 0.49 right okay 28 
nickel ingots and this one output 40. Huh. Okay. So it seems like this refinery is 70% efficiency of the normal one, of the advanced one. Yep. So while this produces... So if this refinery would put, produce 100 ingots, this one would produce only 70. Okay. Right. Makes sense. And then we have the yield modules, which, let's see what happens when we add them. And you will see why you need to add all four of them. So with one of them, you get 119 efficient effectiveness, whatever. Two, 141. Three, 168. And with four, 200 percent. So two times more resources. And yeah, as you can see, effect per port, it multiplies the effectiveness by 1.0.91. Which if we, let's see what happens if we, 1.0.1, multiply by 1.0.91, multiply by 1.0.91, and multiply by 1.091. Hmm. Interesting. It all sums up not to 2. Then what is happening here? If it says that it multiplies effectiveness by 1.091, then what exactly is happening here? Okay, let's say again. The original effectiveness is at 100. With one of these modules, 119. Okay, so it then multiplies by 1.19, right? What if you add the second one? 141. Okay, so 1.19 multiplied by 1.19. There we go. Now the results are more closer. And if you multiply it again by 1.19, we get 168. What we get here? And if you multiply it again, we will get 2, I assume. Yep, we get 2. Nice. Then, why is build info mode showing? Oh! You see, these modules have two upgrade ports. So one module does that two times. So, that means that to get to 2, you do actually need to multiply by this number that the build info is showing 8 times. And yes, that will result in a 2 after all. So, it's interesting. While speed modules just speed it up. So as you can see, one module 200. So they add speed instead of multiplying it. A second one does 300. And with 5 of them it will be... not f With 4 of them it will be 500. The yield modules multiplied. So it's a lot more effective to have mo multiple of them instead of having some kind of a combo with yield and speed modules and stuff. Don't do that. And power efficiency modules seem to multiply two, right? And when you have all five of them, the refinery consumes five times less power, which is incredible. So if you don't care about resources and PCU, you could technically have the speed of five refineries with the power consumption of only one. But power isn't really that big of a problem in space engineers to get. So you probably should just put speed modules when you don't have gold and after you get gold, put yield modules. Because yield modules double the amount of stuff that is output. Yep, as you can see, this one doubled. Scrap metal. This one doubled. It's insane, actually. With iron, the funny thing with iron in this game is that when refining it with yield modules, just 100 kilograms of iron or somehow become 140 kilograms of iron ingots. I have no idea how that works. Some kind of space magic or something. <laughs> but whatever. All right, we have our basic refinery yet refined. It still hasn't refined stuff. Wow. Why is it so slow? Come on, basic refinery, do your sync. Yeah, it's really slow when it comes to cobalt. 
and then yes, magnesium won't be really fast either. What about our advanced refinery? It now refined most stuff, except uranium and platinum. So it is much faster. So as you can see, you get 70% refinery if rate without any modules on fer on iron and silicon, and then 40% on nickel, 30 on cobalt, 10 on silver, 1% on gold, 0.7% on magnesium, and now we wait for other stuff to refine. And I think it's safe to assume that what we get with yield modules will be pretty much double the normal. And I think it's safe to assume that what this refinery outputs is 70% of the rate of this refinery. So a refinery, an advanced one with yield modules will be two times multiplied by, or okay, let's do something like this. So this is slower by, so this is only 70%, then this refinery is faster than this by 1 divided by 0 0.7, I think that's the number, by 1.42, blah, 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 and the number goes by 10 sevenths, yeah. And I will multiply it by 2. So this refinery with yield modules is almost three times more efficient than just basic refineries and two times more efficient than this. All right, let's actually see something. So with uranium, it takes 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.9, 0 0.6, 0 0.3. Yep, okay. What happens here? So you see it takes the, the yield module refiner, it takes the ores at the same rate, but it outputs twice the amount. So technically while it will take the same time to refine stuff as a basic refinery, not basic refinery, a refinery with no modules. The output is twice faster <laughs> because it outputs twice more resources. Let's actually speed this up by putting some speed modules onto the refinery. Bam. Five times faster. All right, and so the rate for uranium is 1% too. Interestingly, magnesium is less yielding than uranium even which is kind of curious, I guess. And yeah, basic refinery outputs barely anything. So I guess by me repeating this like so many times, you have got a basic grasp on relative efficiency of different processing plants for resources so far. And now we just wait for platinum to refine so we can see what percentage of it is refined. But so far I am seeing that it's 0.5%. All right, there we go, 0.5%. So starting with the most common, iron, silicon, then we drop to nickel, then we drop to cobalt, then we drop to silver, then gold and uranium on the same level, then magnesium, and then platinum. So, well, this is very, very, very good to know. Well, I guess just use large refineries when you can <laughs> with yield modules. That's what you get from this lesson. <laughs>